Fed USA. What's going on YouTube? This is Mike here from Fed USA Gaming, and today we're going to be taking a look at the uh, Thanos Armored Thanos uh, Build a Figure set. We're going to be opening up all the figures that uh, contain a Thanos piece, and we're going to be taking a look at the figures, and then we're going to be building the uh, build a figure Thanos. Uh, First off, I just want to take a look here at this uh, Captain America figure. It, it doesn't have a piece in it, so we're not going to be opening it up today. But uh, uh, it's part of the set, so I figured we'd take a nice little look here. You can see he's wearing his uh, Avengers... Uh, the, the, the suit he's wearing in the Avengers movie, the Infinity War. No, nope. Endgame. Can't mess that up. Uh, if, you know, time traveling and stuff. Eh, it looks pretty good. Looks like they got a lot of detail in there. That's pretty nice. You can see there how it's sort of uh, textured. That's pretty cool, and there's a shield here. Looks like that is detachable, so that's pretty nice. Now we got that out of the way. Let's put him to the side, and let's take a look at some of these figures here. Let's just move these over a little bit. There we go. So first, I'm going to be taking a look at the Living Laser, which comes with him. Uh, these two, like, I guess, uh, energy blast type attachments, and the abdomen for the Thanos Build-A-Figure. So without further ado, let's just pop this guy open. Got my knife here, just gonna whoop, slice that tape. And here we go. Pop him open. Pull him out. There we go. I like these uh, types of clear figures, you know, like Iceman and stuff. How, how they, they got that sort of translucent plastic that they're made with. I, I always think that looks really cool when done as an action figure. Ooh. There we go, so we're just gonna pull him out. We're gonna pull out these two. Ooh, these are like really flexible, like almost mushy, if you can just see that. They're like, wow, I was not expecting it. We'll just pull those out real quick. And then we'll pull out the abdomen, and we'll put this to the side with the rest of our pieces. So, let's just take a look at him real quick. Uh, his head swivels, and eh, not very much. Not, not, not a whole lot. A soul. That's because like this part is connected to the shoulders here. And it's just all one big piece. Uh, there is some cool pieces right here on the side here. Uh, sort of looks like they're coming off of a van brace, like you might see on here. Let me see if I can get that to focus. Like you might see on something like a, a Batman figure. Can I get that to focus? Huh? Eh, come on. You got this. I believe in you. There we go. Yeah. See those there. Those are pretty cool. It also has this like sort of electrical paint going up and down the arms all the way up to the shoulder here. That's pretty cool. And again, I really like the translucent uh, material that they make these out of. They're really nice. And oh, looks like we got a bit of a coat on there somewhere. Yeah, see, I don't like it when they... God, I can't get it to focus. Yeah, see, I don't like it when they toss those codes on there. Mainly because, like, like if you put them in a really unobvious place, I guess it's on the back of the leg, so it's not too apparent. But when you put them in a really obvious place, it can really ruin the figure. But, you know, I'll let this one slide just because, you know, it's not really doing any harm. And it looks like these are supposed to go on around the fists here. So, let's just see if we can get these on there. Maybe. Maybe. Here, let's try this one on here. Looks like... What... Something like that, probably. Oh, wait, are they supposed to go all the way up? How do these attach? Do these Are these just not supposed to attach? Oh, wait. Wait, here we go. We gotta snake this guy all the way up the arm. Put that under there. Ooh. Then get this guy around it, sort of. Like so, something like that, I would assume. It doesn't, I, I really could have used some instruction on this. I'm going to see if it uh, shows on the box. If there's a clear way to, no, no, nothing on the box. Nothing to show you how to do this. All right, that, that that's a negative right there, because I have no clue how these things are supposed to attach. And they're so flimsy, they're so flimsy that it's actually hard to really figure that out at all. Go over here and you just... Seems like you're just supposed to put it on the arm like so, but it's so... Oh, okay. Do, do we just get it? Do we just get it? All right, I guess it's supposed to go sort of like that on the arm. I got one of them. Can't get the other. But I'm not going to keep trying on that. 
mainly because we have a whole five other figures to get through today. So let's keep moving. All right, now we're going to be opening up Ebony Ma. Whew. Uh, he's part of the Thanos crew, black something or other. Uh, he's pretty cool. Uh, I sort of like him. Uh, his, his portrayal in the movie, I felt like it could have been lengthened a bit. He could have really had a bigger role, but, you know, that's fine. It's whatever, because the movie turned out pretty great. So we open it up. We don't have any pieces in here besides Ebony Ma himself and this piece for Thanos, which we're going to put over to the side. Exactly there. Okay, and we're just going to remove him. Ooh, and right away you can tell there's some pretty good build quality here. Uh, I like this figure. It, 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 he's sort of like a tall, slender guy, so like it, 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 it's pretty easy to make them look pretty cool because you, you, a lot of these figures, you, you see the joints and they're like huge because like, but, but with the, when the arms are this long, you can really sort of see, like, like, like it, it, it's not that big of a deal. Like the joints take up a far lower percentage of all this guy's parts uh, than it would on a, another character. Okay, you can see here we got something that I like all the time. This guy right here, this uh, flexible bit, it comes off of its uh, his, I guess, vest, sort of. Uh, I really like it when they like switch materials halfway down because it really adds some depth to the figure. Uh, w one thing I don't like is this uh, clicking here. If I can just get this to focus real quick. There we go. You can see, <sighs> yeah, yeah, it, it, it clicks. That's one thing I'm not a big fan of in these figures is the clicking. I guess it's okay, especially if you're trying to pose them in a case or something. You, you want the legs to stay in whatever position you put them in. But if you're, like, not going to be clicking up here, what's the point of just doing it in the knees, you know? It just takes away from the overall build quality, I feel, uh, not having those smooth joints. Uh, and the arms, they do click a little bit too, but, like, not as aggressively as the rest. But... Overall, pretty solid figure. If you look at the detail on the head there, if I can get that to focus, there we. Ooh, there we go. Look at that detail. You can see all the wrinkles in his eyes. Ooh, look at the color there and on his lips. That that is just crazy. And I really like this gold coming up here. It it just looks all together like a, a pretty great figure. All right, we're gonna we're gonna move on to the next guy here. Now that we've gotten through those, next I'm thinking we're gonna open up. Nighthawk. Let's just grab our X-Acto knife here. Boom. Cut that bit of tape. And pull them out. Ooh. Come on. Come on. You got this, I believe. Why, why isn't he coming out? Come on. There we go. Okay. I just need to pull the whole thing out. I guess I cut it on the wrong side here. All right. Here we go, it's Nighthawk. We can see that it comes with the Thanos arm piece and it comes with his uh, sword. This has to be the most impractical sword ever, I just gotta say. Like honestly, the only way to get two consecutive hits with this is to spin it. And who's gonna wanna spin it, all right? Like you got, you got the one slice and then you can't just go up for another hit there. Like, you know, slice, you can't go up, you gotta slice through whatever you're going through and then go back around for it. Like, it, it's just so impractical, but, you know, it, it is what it is. This is what they wanted, so this is what they got. All right, we're going to remove that. We're going to remove the arm piece here, toss that to the side, and then I'm liking this cape so far. Oh, my God. Yeah, he needs his own plastic just because of that cape. His own plastic in here. Let's see if we can get that out. All right. Whew. Looks like the cape sort of detaches from this little bump in his back. Let's see if we can get that in there. All right, here we go. It's Nighthawk, everybody. Is that in there? Yep, that's in there. Okay. Uh, he has this huge cape, of course, because Nighthawk, obviously. Oh. There we go. So he has these claws, of course. Uh, we got... Heightened abilities at night it, it, it is his whole shtick. And honestly, I'm a pretty big fan of this figure. 
I gotta say, like, there, there isn't a whole lot of detail on the figure itself. But when it comes to this cape here, if I can just... I just wanted to focus on just Nighthawk here. Okay. When it comes to the cape, it's so huge, and it's all this flexible material. Like, I feel like it adds so much to the figure overall. Without the cape, it would definitely be, like, maybe a solid C for me. But now it's just an A+, because of that cape. Uh, what I do think is they could have come up with a better way to mount it. Possibly actually attaching it on the shoulders here. That I feel like that would have done a whole lot better, because it's very flimsy how it's attached right now. Just through this, I don't know if I can get that to focus, but... Let's just open that up. Just through this little hole in his back, there's a little peg there. Not a big fan of that, but I think it's all right. So, now, let's move on to Citizen V. The GI himself. Let's see. I think we're opening up the right side this time. I have hope for us. Let's see. Ah, oh, there we go. Perfect, Paul. Now, we got... Thanos leg here. I believe this is his left leg. We'll move that to the side there. Now we'll pull out Citizen V. Ooh, there's some tape there covering up the sword. Alright, where'd I put that exact knife? We're just gonna cut that. We're not gonna worry about prying it off. We're just gonna real quick do a little. Ooh, come on. Is that not tape? What is that? Oh my god, wait, it goes through this hole here. Alright, so you gotta get him completely out, but his cape is all the way through the back. You got this package on some of these figures. Oh my god, it is just crazy. All right, so his cape, uh, like Nighthawk, seems a bit. Here, let's just get this guy to focus. You know, come on. All right, there we go. His cape seems a bit flimsy, just like Nighthawk's. Uh, does it attach through the same? Yeah, it attaches through the same means. Uh, I really wish they attached these to the shoulders. It would have made it so much better. But I gotta say, uh, I'm liking the sword here. I'm liking the detail, especially around the belt down here. There's not a whole lot of detail to really get on this figure, which is why I think it probably shines. Like, the face completely blank. Uh, just blue and red. All the detail is really in the cape. You got the stars here with that metallic finish, so it looks pretty nicely. You got the stripes. Uh, the sword... It looks okay. I feel like they could have done a little bit better on that, but uh, for for what it is, I, I feel like it's all right. It, it's pretty small, so nobody's going to really notice the lack of detail in there. But overall, pretty easy figure to get right, and I'm glad they did. Because if not, I would have been pretty uh, unimpressed. So next on, well first, let me just move some of this stuff out of the way. Oh my god, there is so much of this plastic stuff. Wow. Alright, so next up, Hercules, alright? Let's hop in here. Uh, we got the right side again. Pull him out. Alright, and this one, it looks like we got Thanos' head. Uh, no other pieces, just his head. But Hercules, he comes with quite a few pieces here. He has two hands, which is pretty cool. Take those out real quick. Come on. We got himself, which already looks like a pretty nice build. And then we got a sword and a mace. Now we're just going to pop the Thanos head out. Toss that over to the side here. And move that to the side. Whew. All right, now let's see. It looks like, he, he, here's Hercules, all right? Uh, he, this vest is not connected with one of the mounts in the back, thank God, but it is just sort of loosely on here. It looks like it sort of comes up. I feel like they could have done a uh, connection between here and here, even if it was just the same color, just to make it a bit more secure, but it looks all right. Uh, you got 360 degree rotation in the head here. You got some up-down movement, the arms. They did paint the hair. All right, that was one of my gripes with uh, some of these Wolverine figures. They, uh, I'm gonna try to get that to focus. They don't actually paint the hair. They have like physical textures for it, but they don't paint it. Here, they painted it. And even though they don't have an actual texture for the hair there, it looks so much better just cause you can actually see it. All right, cause like it doesn't matter if you can feel it, but if you can, if you can see it, then you're good to go, especially if you're a collector. Uh, the belt looks really nice. Uh, got the lion there. You got all these, all these different pouches. 
here too. Ooh, okay, I, th I think I see this. You can take these and sort of put them in the back here. So let's just do that real quick. Boom, there's one. And it looks like you can stick the sword. Yeah, let's just focus this again real quick. Stick the sword in this one. That's pretty nice. That's pretty nice. This might actually be one of my favorite figures so far, I have to say. Very good figure, very good figure, all right? Let's move on to the final figure here. Probably one of the most important figures in this set, uh, for the Build-A-Figure at least, uh, because it has Thanos' left hand with the Infinity Gauntlet. Whew. All right, well, we're going to open it up on the right side. Boom. Now we're going to pull this guy out. There we go. All right, so this is Ronin. Of course, uh, Hawkeye's Rage Mode Alter Ego. Let's just take these out real quick. Looks like he has a replaceable hand. That actually looks pretty cool. If you're going to pose him, like, I got to say that, that that looks so great for posing. Ooh. And this figure, he looks nice, I have to say. Whew, look at that. Look at the detail on this. The hood. No. No, don't do that to me. Don't. Oh, my God. Does the hood just... Oh, my God, it does. I guess it just tucks under the collar here. I feel like that that's the one thing they could have been doing a bit better. Uh, attaching the clothes a bit better. That That's, that's a little disappointing. Uh, but it looks like both of his sabers here, they can go into this back part. One, and let's see if the other one can fit in there, too. Can we do it? Can we get that? There we go. Two. All right, let's just make sure that's focused. Come on. There we go. So there is both the sabers in the back part. I love that. I love that on the Hercules figure. That was great. And you can see we got a lot of detail here. Again, they're switching out the plastic between the two, uh, the two pieces here. Like, this is a harder plastic. Actually, no. This is also sort of a rubber. So it looks like they made the base body, and they did a separate molding of the plastic in a different material of the, the clothes here. That's pretty cool. And then the van braces here, they look amazing. Ah, oh, there's just so much detail there. You can even see the, the straps. Here, let's just focus that up. Come on. Focus. Focus. I need to show off these amazing straps. Come on, dog. You got this. There we go. Look at those straps going along there. All the straps, the zipper, everything just looks amazing on this figure. I have to say. Uh, I'm taking back what I said about Hercules being my favorite figure now. Ronin, definitely my favorite figure out of this set. Whew. And then, but... Maybe I gotta give it to uh, Black Ma because I cannot take this loose clothing anymore. Alright, now that we got those out of the way, I'm just gonna... Well, first... Gotta take the arm out, of course. And then we're just going to get rid of the plastic and stuff. Move that over to the side. Get that out of here. Alright, now we're going to just lay these pieces out. And we're going to assemble this amazing figure. So, that goes with thrown in there. Let's see, it looks like... Alright, here's the leg. It looks like that just clicks in right there. Does it? Yes, it does. All right, there we go. Leg is clicked in. That's pretty solid connection there. Let's toss the other leg on there. Oh, this is a pretty big figure. Ooh, there we go. Here's the arm. Left arm with that infinity gauntlet. Oh, my God. I was just using a, one of the prop replica infinity gauntlets in another video, and I got to say, that, that has to be one of my favorite things that I've unboxed to date. Come on, get in there. Get in there. Come on. There we go. Heard the pop. It's in there. All right. Toss the other arm in there. 
I think we got to, the trick here is to push this down a little bit and then toss it in there, it seems. So, come on, go in. I believe in you. God, you, you, you got to hear the pop. You got to. God, oh, what's going on here? All right, I think we got to push this down a bit more. See, because this piece right here, this, yeah, why does it always lose focus like that? Come on. Come on. This piece right here is interfering with this piece, so you got to move that down a bit to get it in there. Pro tip. We're going to get it in there. All right, I promise. I promise we will make it click. There. Oh, I think we almost got it. Why is this one so much harder than the other one? The other one has the infinity gauntlet on it. I feel like that, that, what, what the, come on. There we go, clicked. All right, now we're gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna save the head for last. What, no, it didn't click? What? All right, all right, this is getting a bit ridiculous. All right, here we go, here we go. We're gonna just, ah. God, why? Why is this not clicking in there? Come on, I believe it can get in. Come on, come on. All right, I think it's in. It, I didn't hear the click though, so I'm pretty skeptical, but I think that's in there, all right? We got the sword here, the very impractical sword. Looks like that's supposed to go into this hand. Let's see how easy that is. You just toss it in there. It looks like, let's see. Ah, pro tip. Start it on the thinner part up here between the thumb and the index finger, and boom, you're solid. Let's see, there we go. Now, for the final piece, this head. Here we go. The amazing Thanos sculpt. I gotta say, I'm a real fan of this sculpt here. Let's see. Come on. I believe in you, Thanos. There we go. Look at that figure. Look at it. It's so amazing. Alright, it's huge. I'd say this is maybe about the size of that Juggernaut figure. Uh, oh man, look at this. Oh man, look at the detail here, all right? Look at the gauntlet. You got every single gem on there. Let me let me just see if I can get this to focus again. Come on. Stop losing focus. There we go. Look at that. Look at all the, the frilly bits here. You got the texture there. You got each individual stone. Oh, it just looks amazing. Although, I gotta say, it looks a bit darker than I feel like it should be. Uh, that's just my opinion. I know in the comics it was just legit yellow. Uh, but in the movie, which this is based off of, it was a bit of a lighter bronze tone. Uh, I feel like this doesn't really do it completely justice. Um, also, when he had this sword, he didn't... Eh, did he? No, no, yeah, never mind. I was about to say, when he had this sword, he didn't have this gauntlet, but I guess... Actually, no, I'd be right. He did not have this sword when he had this gauntlet, in the movies, at least, uh, because he tossed that to the side in his first mission against... Uh, I guess not his first. He stole the uh, Tesseract's stone, but in that uh, crusade, basically, against uh, Thor's ship. But, yeah, all right. This is fair. This, this this is a real nice one. I like the sculpt on the face here, if you can see that. Each individual tooth is sculpted. Uh, the eyes lack a little bit of detail, but they're really covered up here by the helmet. Just just a dab. They, they leave a bit of a shadow, so it doesn't really show. You can see on his chin there all the different ripples. That looks really nice. Uh, and then all the bits of armor here. They are so great. All right, you got the flexible bit down here, of course. I love that. I love to see that on all of these. Oh, what? Look at this. Look at these ridges here. That, that's that's pretty cool. Sort of like steampunk-esque. Uh, wow. 
is just a great figure, I gotta say. Whew. Look at that. Just look at that. You got the shielding here, you got it here, you got tons of points of articulation, alright? You have a smoother knee uh, joint than on the Black Maw, alright? It does click, but it's a lot smoother than on the Black Maw figure, so I appreciate that. You have a whole lot of motion in both of the legs. Uh, not that much motion in the arms, all right? The, these are pretty stiff, I gotta say. Uh, the elbows, yeah, they're all right, but up here, you don't get that full rotation because this blocks it, and it doesn't pop out that much because this piece right here, this shoulder guard, interferes with this shoulder guard. It is a mess there. But if you're just posing him, I think you're good. Uh, this piece right here, I thought that was a little bit weird. It moves, uh, spins completely independently of the gauntlet itself. Uh, there, there should be some up-down mo motion there, but like, the whole thing shouldn't just be spinning, you know? But yeah, I say for displaying, this is a pretty great figure. Uh, now let me just, let me just pull out all the figures here. Just to get a bit of a comparison in size between them all. There we go. And then finally, the first guy, Living Laser. We'll put him down there. There we go. Look at those. All right, it looks like the only person that comes close to the same scale as Thanos would be Black Maw. I think, yeah, Black Maw is definitely probably my favorite character out of all this. It doesn't have the flimsy... Uh, what is it, the flimsy clothes of some of the other figures. Uh, and he's just pretty dang tall. Uh, I, and also the detail is really there, I like that. I just think he looks really cool in this rendition. I, I just have to say, it looks amazing. Uh, I would actually put him on par with the Thanos one, which sort of makes sense, you know? He should be the best one, because he's, he's like part of his black, what, what's it called, the... The Black Order. That's what it was. Oh, man. That's great. That's great. I could see myself buying one of these and posing it. Ah. Well, I think that will do it for this video. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you want to see more content, please subscribe. We are currently selling these figures on our online store, FedUSAGaming.com, our eBay store, and our Amazon store. We'll leave links to those in the description along with our social media. Uh, and we are also selling the Thanos Build-A-Figures individually. If you don't want to buy the whole set, you can just grab that figure straight off the bat. And I think it would be worth it. Uh, not, not to diss any of these figures. They're all very high quality. But I could see myself just grabbing for this one. You know, it's a pretty good steal, you know, with the money and such. Uh, but yeah, thanks for watching. I'll catch you in the next one. Peace. Fed USA Gaming. Feed your passion.